So the episode opens with Tasha begging Silver to lie for her. Oh, shit. He said, get your coat, woman. We going to the police. We turning in your husband. Oh, I see him. I see him. He like, uh-uh, uh-uh. You're going to be mine. We got to get him completely and utterly out of the picture. I ain't dealing with no baby daddy drama. So now she tells Silva, look, my husband didn't do it. I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting my son. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that, was, that was real guiding light right there. That was as the world turns. Or I guess on this show, as the drug is dealt. <laughs> Silva said, child, well, he gonna have to turn himself in. We could try for a juvenile case. And Tasha said, now look, honey, we may be rich, but we still black. Let's get that straight. I ain't putting my child in the system. I'll put you in the ground first. I'm with you on that, Tasha. I'm with you. And then he like, yeah, you're probably right. Tasha landed on real thick. I need you. I need you. Ooh, she hit him with a Janet whisper. Uh Uh-huh, she wore him down. She wore him down. He gonna lie for her. Good luck, sis. So now we got ghosts fucking the Latina heifer and Tasha getting it silver. Oh, Lord, it's still going on. I don't want to see Sissy Silva humping on Tasha. I'm sorry. (laughs) All right, good. Now we got Mock. Ooh, Terry Silva is subpoenaed as a witness. Because they know he know about that gun. Sorry, Sissy Silva. It's just not going to suss out for you. And Sax is like, I just can't wait to get Angela. I'm sick of her and she going down. And the truth is, this heifer has covered up shit unwittingly, wittingly. Girl, you need to go. You need to go to jail. You and Phaedra should be in the same cell, getting on each other's nerve. No, 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 no. And the lead lawyer says, and after all, Angela deleted files. Shit. She in this, honey. She in it. And now she tells Mock and Sax to put the squeeze on Teresi. And they already been pressuring him too damn much. But I, what do you expect him to do? Lord, like clearly the man is incompetent. He's been in jail for 20 years. Come on. Coot ass. I ain't trusting no coot ass. Now, if you old and you sharp, I'll fuck with it. You got wisdom. You know shit. But he, he give me coot ass tease. You wasn't shit when you're young, and now you ain't shit when you're old. Coot. C-O-O-T. Coot. <laughs> so Mark and Sack show up at Teresi's and tell him, get us some dirt on the Latina half while you're at it. There was a murder. Figure it out. We set you free. Earn your keep. This is why I just want to do comedy. I can't be stressed out with police and jail and all that. Not Okay, so now Connie confronting Teresi. She like, you really going to snitch on your son? I know that's your son. I knew you was fucking around. I didn't know there was a child till now. But honey, is this really who you want to be? Because I'm about to go. Ooh, oh, shit. Connie slapped the fuck out of him. Asking for forgiveness, she slapped the shit out of him. That slap had been building up for 30 years. And she was like, you know what? Before I leave this earth, I'm going to put hand to cheek on your ass for that shit. She's like, okay, now that I slapped the shit out of you, I forgive you. But don't try it again with your coot ass. Yeah, I'm calling him the coot for the rest of the season. Oh, shit. And she's like, who else is going to take care of you when I'm gone? That's who you snitching on, because you're going to be out all alone. The Italians ain't fucking with you. You ain't going to have no income. You're going to get your coot ass caught back in jail, alone and dead. And you can see the wheels just clicking in his head, because he like, yeah, I, I've come out to a world that I don't know anymore, and I don't have anybody, and Tommy has this blind love for me that, you know, could carry me to the grave, because you know it's all about him, because he's a selfish motherfuckers. Meanwhile, across town, Jerry pops in on Angela and he say he don't have a lot of time. And she say, fine, let's deal with the real. Did you hear from Blanca Chunky Hill Coolot Rodriguez again? I want to know. Girl, um, I can't really tell you now because the, the head lawyer in charge, she, she didn't really find you right now. I'd watch my ass. CYA, sis. 
CYA. <laughs> she said, well, are you going to be my friend? He said, I'm going to be your best friend right now. I'm going to give it to you sis to sis. Stay the fuck away from your drug dealer boyfriend. Stay away. We got your ass on film and you're going down. I'd move, honestly. Belize, Colombia, someplace they don't extradite. <laughs> he said, but whatever happens henceforth, henceforth, I ain't taking their fall for you, heifer. I ain't going down on this bullshit. This ain't my battle. This ain't the hill I'm going to die on. And I can relate to that. He said, I don't owe you shit, heifer, and I'm going to hit you with the toodles toots. Meanwhile, across town, James and Dre is thick as thieves again. So Tommy meet with the leader of the Serbians and tell them, okay, the Jimenez got arrested, but I got you two mil. He like, well, great, great. I needed my two mil, but uh, now you really got to kill them because they probably snitching on me in return for their freedom. They gave them a little infamame. Kanan tries to pipe up, but the Serbian says, mm -mm -mm, I'm talking to Tommy. Kanan, I think this Serbian might be his downfall. He give me a little bit of Nazi tease with this haircut. I, mm -mm. If I saw him, I'd run as fast as my legs could carry me. I ain't afraid. Girl, if your spirit ever tells you, get them legs to pumping. Fuck people's opinion. Why'd she take off running? Who cares? Ain't nobody paying their bill in your house. He give me run tees. Oh my God! Ah! Tommy, <laughs> so they leave the meeting and Ghost is like, why the hell didn't you tell me the Jimenez got arrested, Tommy? And Tommy says, Ghost, get over it. Um, y'all supposed to be in this shit together. You asking him to clean your money. And you can't give him the tea? Tommy, I've never seen you this trifling. And I watched you murder somebody. He's like, this is my organization. I run it how I see fit. You are no longer in it. You wanted to be out, remember? You wanted to go legit? Welcome to legit. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I, 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 Ghosts. Go, you must be drunk and you must be stupid. You gonna tell Kanan, run and tell that snitch backstabbing ass he tried to get your son murdered or in jail. You gonna tell him, I'm gonna do something, but it gotta stay just between us. The only thing I would tell him is when I had to shit. I'm about to go take a shit, AKA a you. That's all he could get from me was a bowel movement schedule. I can't believe this. Who are you about to tell him you gonna murder? Oh, he need his help. No, you don't. You better hire somebody. Uh-uh. His kind of help, you better do it your goddamn self. Oh, God. So now he gonna have Kanan kill Diego. Good luck, honey. Good luck. Kanan said bet. Bet. I hope this is your bet ass in because I'm sick of you on the show. It's time for you to get written off. I know you came up with some producer money, but take your profits and go. You, just, you do too much, and you and Sissy Floyd be getting out there, airing out all your business. You're mad he won't top you. He mad you won't top him. I'm sick of y'all, and I'm sick of you on this show. The character need to go. It's just unrealistic. Keep it. We love this show because y'all kept it real. So continue to keep it real because James really need to off his ass. What would have been real if, like, during one of those car scenes where they were just sitting around talking, somebody just capped his ass, and then Ghost looked at Tommy and was like, come on now, come on, he had to go. That would have been real. This, this is fake, fake as fuck. Damn near Mona Scott Young tease. Oh, Lord. So Proctor then showed up at Mock's office, and Sax is there, and he's like, hey, I can help you get your license back. You ain't even got to try to do that harassment bullshit. Just tell us how Angela Valdez covered up a murder. Ha! <laughs> he said, okay, well, you you get my license reinstated, and I'm going to get you everything you need. Trust, because, you know, James and Tommy don't know how to keep shit to themselves. Meanwhile, Tasha meeting with Go saying, I got Terry on lock, so you think. 
Terry loves himself more than anything. He he don't love you. Oh, and you can't see that because you was with Ghost all this time. And he only love him. Ooh, girl, you falling for men who love themselves more than you. We done turned this into an Ayala Van Zandt episode, honey. I'm going to help you fix your life. <laughs> James tried to tell Tasha she did some low shit. Honey. Honey, you ain't got no room to talk about low shit. You as low as we go. You're a drug dealer. You got your daughter killed. You're a deadbeat father. You're an alcoholic. And you don't know how to let shit go. Honey, you're a mess. A mess. <laughs> go said, come on, honey. You know he ain't built for that. Yeah, you right, you right, because he about to turn state's evidence on your ass, Tasha. Good puss and all. <laughs> then Tate walk in, Mrs. St. Patrick, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tasha is over it, and I am here for it. Ah! So Tate running for governor, and he said, you know what, honey, you too erratic. I got to let you go from the Queen's Child Project. Lord, if that ain't some New York smarm. Oh, oh my God. He said, I'm giving you every dime back. I can't be attached to your bullshit. Sorry, sis. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know why you were so obsessed with this edifice, but okay. So now we got the Latina heifer trying to get a new job with the man she was fucking who, you know, made her look like an asshole when the Jimenez got let go. Well, the truth is, you look like an overeager asshole on your own. He just humbled your ass. So the Latina have to get interrupted with a text message from Tommy, and she like, okay, well, I got to go. I'll hit you up later, and we can discuss this new job opportunity further. So she had to her house. Tommy already in there eating up the food. She like, child, I got to move. He said, honey, wherever you go, I'm going to follow. Maybe if you had a doorman, but even then, I feel like Tommy'd be able to sneak in through the delivery entrance. But she asked him, why are you trying to take out your own connect? Why do you want the Jimenez got so damn bad? <laughs> he like, look, I ain't telling you who I'm working for. That ain't your business. I'm a go, but uh, I just wanted you to know what's going on. We got to get him. She gonna tell him, stop breaking into my apartment. You need to get yourself a pit bull like I did. I'm like, shit, you go in my house all you want. Pete gonna get your ass. I ain't even worried about it. You ain't gonna make it more than three steps before you see his 100-pound ass coming towards you. Good luck, honey. Good luck. So Teresi then got Tommy to open up about all his murders. Oh, shit. Oh, so he gonna have him tell his murderous antics to Connie so that Connie don't want to protect him no more. Okay. All right, I see you. Teresa getting it done. He like, fuck that. I'm going to have money. I'm going to have a nurse. Nobody going to take care of me but my damn self. So now Tommy's mother calls him, and she's like, come on over for some pizza and bring me some cocaine. He like, ah, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Connie, I fuck with you. Girl, she gave us a great idea to clean money straight off the dome. She said, honey, start a private ambulance business. Nobody's going to question that. You can tear around the city at 2 a.m. Cops going to let you go right on by. Woo, 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 girl. <laughs> Shit. Honestly, now maybe I understand why I have so many sirens going by my window. Fire trucks my ass. Then they start asking Tommy if he has a girlfriend. He like, no. Nah. And they say, well, honey, every man wants a woman. Oh, God. Oh, God. And Tommy said, I, ha I had a ride or die, but uh, she died. <laughs> he said, she don't live in New York no more. Yeah, because she don't live no more because you killed her. Go on and omit, honey. Go on and omit. It's a dinner party. Don't bring it down. Oh, my God. And Tommy's mama burst in on the dinner while they trying to get him to bring Lala over. Don't bring Lala into that racist house. Don't. Don't. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tommy was like, how'd you even find this place? And she said, you know how many times I drove around here wondering if he'd ever leave that bitch. Ha! 
Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be so delicious. It's got to be fattening. And Connie already knew. And she's like, yeah, I know. Of course I know. He's my man, honey. Nice try, though. Nice try. She pulled it. Tommy said, get out of here, Ma. Get out of here right now. And Connie said, you heard my son. Go. Oh, honey, she pulled an ovary theft. I, I'm not a woman, but I can imagine that's like an insult on a deep level for y'all. Because I know if I had a child, and I don't even have a child, but I know if I had a child, that would that mm -hmm, that would be some shit with me. Ooh. Okay. I told you I fuck with Connie. I fuck with Connie. Connie is really on Tommy's side. I like Connie. I, I like her role in this. I wonder how she going to play out. And then Tony coked out mama's like, you're all assholes, the lot of you. Yeah, they're assholes together, and you an asshole by yourself. By yourself, by yourself, by yourself. They give me a little Sinatra tease, so I had to work it in. She's by herself, all alone. Meanwhile, across town, James is walking up on Silver. What kind of shit he gonna sling? So James tells Silver, uh, you, you know I know you're fucking my wife. I know. I saw the earring. It was Tasha's earring. I know. James is like, look, I know you gonna backpedal and pussy pop. Backpedal and pussy pop. But as long as you back up Tasha's story, I ain't gonna go to the ethics committee about you fucking my wife before or after my trial because, honey, you was still fucking a client's wife. And that's tacky at best. At best. Oh, Lord, now Tommy coming over to Lala's. Girl, you shouldn't even open your door for him. He ain't no good. You gonna end up like Holly. Oh, Lord. She taking him back. Well, Lala, I wish you a dramatic death scene and more roles because I really enjoyed you as an actress. Not in that Drake video, but on this, you're very enjoyable. I want to see you in a few supporting roles and then you should have your own series. Go on, girl. Meanwhile, across town, Andre giving Diego his money and Diego just being weird. Diego odd, like, I don't even know if it's sissy tees or he just has done so many drugs and had so much sex. Like, he just looked like he fucked, like he fucked out, drugged out. Like, you've had too much pleasure and now you don't know where to get pleasure from. That's the tease I get from him. So they let him know, oh, by the way, Arturo was the one who ratted you out to the feds. Oh, Lord. So Dre setting him up, he like, oh, since we're making so much money, I'm going to throw you a private pussy party. Meanwhile, across town, the next morning at Keisha's, Tommy's making breakfast. Well, he making cereal, but still, you know, he trying. He trying. And cereal ain't a bed and breakfast food. You got to have trays for that, and then you still going to end up toppling the tray, getting milk all over the sheet. Mm -mm, just go to the table. The way Lala is acting with Tommy, I think she in with the feds. There's just something like, I'm snitching on you, but I'm not letting you know it about her performance that I feel like she's trying to tell it. Girl, I'm telling on him, but I ain't going to let you know, but I want my actions to convey. I think Lala really giving us actress in this moment because I was getting a lot from her. And I think she might be the one who brings the whole shit down in the seventh season to save herself and her hair shop. And girl, I don't blame you. Tasha brought you into this bullshit, but you got to get yourself out. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so now we got Andre on the phone with Go, and they going over the plan to kill Diego. Meanwhile, Andre friend hearing the conversation when he hang up with Ghost, Andre says, now look, once Ghost kills Diego, you kill Ghost. Shit. That, mm, it's going to be real interesting. This is going to be, let's see what happens in the next 40-something minutes. Y'all got me peaked. Who going to die? 
who gone die? Nobody's gonna die. People are gonna live and it's gonna be irritating. And they're gonna drag this on and on for seven damn seasons. So my hopes were high, but then I realized, honey, calm down. Ah! Dre hit him with the Francis and that means things gonna be fucked up. He like, look, you wanna be my number two, Francis? Then do what the fuck I tell you, Francis. I like the name Fran. I still, I still taste English muffins. And honestly, Francis is something of a muffin himself. Ooh, and I like his coat. Ain't nothing like a man you can share clothes with. So Keisha let Tasha know she fucking Tommy. Ooh, Lala is on one for real. So she talking Tommy with Tasha and mentions, oh, he wants me to meet his father and his stepmom. And she's like, wait, what the fuck? Tommy don't got a family. Girl, you've been around us for years. How, how are you not focusing on this? It's a plot hole. A plot hole in his life. Let's talk about it. Let's address it. So Francis is a run and tell that he in the car with Kanan spilling all the tea. Why Andre cut a deal with Ghost to kill Diego and then he gonna have us cap Ghost? So Kanan's like, you know what? I'ma go on and kill Diego and we got a Serbian connect so you can eat with us. We ain't even gotta worry about this bullshit. And he like, oh, wait, 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 hold on. I got more tea to spill. Let me get another cop. Let me get another cop, girl. Get ready, get ready. Dre's going to kill the Serbian for Ghost. Yes, indeed. We'll lose both our connects. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Ain't nobody gonna kill that Serbian because I'm taking over Tommy's spot. Meanwhile, across town, Ghost is meeting with one of Tate's associates about the Queen's Child Project, offering him twice his salary. And he says, I don't know how you gonna skim anymore because, honey, I'm getting $5 for every 10 that's donated to the Queen's Child's Project. I'm making money off your dead daughter. That's what I'm doing in front of your face. And I'm bragging about it to your face here, now, in public. <laughs> so Proctor tried to get some information about the murder that Angela covered up. And then he realized, oh, shit, I was involved in that one. And he tell Tommy to, cop to stop killing people. And he says no, just like I said no to the people at Parkwood. No. <laughs> so now we get into the murder at the MCC and Teresi like uh I'm, I'm gonna need all the immunity for this one all the immunity like blanket complete utter utter immunity immunity from the Ruta to the Tudor I'm gonna need future immunity for new shit I'm doing let's just get all the immunity together and put me under it and Mike like, okay, all right, I'm going to let you be a criminal so I can capture others. <laughs> so now <laughs> he talk about the murder. He helped Ghost cover up so he could get the fuck out. And they said, well, did you see it go down? And he's like, you, 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 you can say that. Okay, so Kanan and Tariq is sitting around playing chess, talking about playing chess rather than checkers. So Tariq is accepting Kanan as his father figure and is going to try to start moving weight. Oh, I hope you end up in jail for 25 years. <laughs> so now Tommy breaking into Angela Carr and not her apartment. <laughs> but he going to pop up on that. Ed See, I'm still on the edge on my own damn show. Lord. Bitch, take full camera. You didn't pay for it. Anyway, all the way over there, it's, it's the way the shit's set up. It's a long story. Well, it ain't a long story. It's just the way the shit's set up. Ooh, okay, Latina, have fun. I see you. So she like, you know what? I wasn't looking for a job for me. I'm looking for a job for John Mock. Let me see if I can go on and get you off my ass. <laughs> Because you just keep your nose in it. Let me send your ass to D motherfucking C. You want all this power and influence. You want to be this. Go ahead, honey. Go ahead. But you're going to have to leave me alone to do it. Focus on the real fish to fry. 
And he says, well, why are you doing this? What does the card attached say? Because it sure ain't thank you for being a friend. And she said, well, honey, let's spill the tea and dish the dirt about what's been going on in this office. He like, okay, well, what you want to know, sis? Shit, I'm out. Meanwhile, across town, Tasha goes over to Silva's apartment and he leaves her a check, her paperwork, and a sorry post-it. Oh, my God. <laughs> he ain't shit. Never was shit and ain't never gonna be shit. Who knew he wasn't shit? Who knew he wasn't shit? Hands. I knew. <laughs> so now we got ghosts with a little bit of get back. A little bit of get back. He tell Tate, honey, I got your man on tape telling me what you been doing. And I am the Queen's Child Project. So, so you gonna win your governorship and we're gonna do this in Raina's name. In Raina's name. Or I can get petty with it. I I I I can get petty with it. I I I I can get petty with it. Get petty with it. Get 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 petty with it. Child Lorenz grabs his jacket and says, Well, I'll be in touch with you after the announcement. And Go says, Oh, I know you will. I know you will, because that's how you is. Well, Diego is dead. And so is his friend. Kanan gave him the pop, pop tease. That first bop tease. K Michelle tease. Oh. So Kanan brings the Serbian, the Jimenez head, to get Tommy's spot. Smart move, KK. Smart move. And the Serbian leader asked, well, what are you going to do about Tommy since you want to take his spot? He said, oh, don't worry about that. Ghost going to take out Tommy. Tommy going to take out Ghost. You know, it's like me and Flo. Just a bottoms battle. And so the Serbian leader is like, okay, well, I got to know, how can I trust you? He said, well, let me tell you, sis, there's a hitter on your way, but you can't kill because that's the only link to Diego's sister. And, and we got his head right here. So, you know, he ain't really going to be talking much. So Dre gets to the hotel and ain't nobody there to kill. They beat you to the punch. Meanwhile, across town, Ghost and the Latina heifers having dinner. So during this lovely dinner, Tasha run in and say, hey, Silverton left town and fucked us all. Girl, and they gonna end the episode on if anybody's going down for my family, it's me. And they both gonna be like, well, who gonna go down for this shit? Child, oh, Lord. Silver, sorry ass. Girl, that's what happens when you get sissy dick in your marriage. Anyway, that was the episode, and I'm going to see you soon for something. So tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate.